Hi, this is Chad with NoviSign, and today we're going to go over what digital signage players are, how they work, plus cover several different model types of digital signage players that you can actually use to play your digital signage content with. To get started, let's go over functions of the TV and how it works with a, a digital signage player. Um, first here, we have our TV. As far as the TV type, it really doesn't matter what it is, uh, it can be any brand or any size of TV. Doesn't really matter if it's a smart TV or not. Um, if you're looking to use a smart TV, um, we definitely recommend going, uh, going with an Android um, TV. Those are nice all-in-one units, and as far as um, uh, you know, applying the content, um, it's, it's very easy, but we'll cover uh, what Android TVs are later. Um, and then connected to the TV, it's gonna be a media player. And basically, a media player is a small little box um, typically four inches by four inches by one inch, and it connects to the TV through HDMI, okay? Uh, once it's connected, then you connect the device to either the internet or Wi-Fi, or uh, Wi-Fi or hardwire, right? Um, the box itself is gonna check every single minute uh, for content updates that you make in the cloud. It's gonna download the content and then play it onto the screen. Um, outside of this uh, box style uh, for digital signage players, you can also use a um, like a US like a USB style dongle, uh, kind of like Chrome bit. That's another option, but we'll talk more about that later. As far as uh, the, the device types um, in the digital signage uh, industry, um, the three most popular um, operating systems that are used for digital signage players here um, are Chrome, Windows, and Android. Um, from a setup standpoint, Android is by far um, the much, much, much easier option. Um, from a NoviSign standpoint, it is going to be uh, probably one of the most stable um, in the industry when compared to, to other competitors. Um, just because NoviSign, we were the first, uh, one of the first companies in the industry uh, about nine years ago to release a, a true Android app, especially for digital signage. Um, but um, that's another story. Um, outside of that, Windows um, is an older uh, system for digital signage players. Um, typically, the price point on those are going to be a lot higher, three to five hundred dollars per unit. Um, and then Chrome is is uh, you know it, it's it's the least favorable just because um, Google now requires you to enroll them in the the Google Enterprise, um, get a license, and then put them in kiosk mode. So there's a little bit more steps when it comes to getting the player up and running. Um, so just uh, you know from a setup ease of use, reliability standpoint, we always recommend going with Android um, uh, media players, and those are going to be, you know, best price and, um, you know, readily available, plus they're very, very easy to set up. Um, that being said, um, what we're going to do now is get into what uh, Chrome, Chrome digital signage players are. Um, as far as Chrome is concerned, um, the two most popular options are going to be a Chrome bit and then a Chrome box. Um, from a pricing standpoint, the Chrome bits are, are definitely going to be pretty, you know, cost effective from, you know, from a price, uh, you know, scenario for around $110 each. From a performance standpoint, Chrome bits are a little bit laggy if you're looking to play video, scrolling, tickers, and slideshows kind of all in conjunction. Um, in addition, because the Chrome bits are, are plastic, uh, it tends, uh, tends to overheat, right? So if you've got your, your digital signage playing, um, you know, through the Chrome bit, Within about six six months to a year, the device is going to start overheating and power cycling. So overall, you know, Chrome bits they're okay if you're looking to just do simple slideshows. Um, the second one here is Chrome Box. Those are going to be much more rugged, uh, long lasting. Uh, from a price point wise, you know, those range between two hundred to five hundred dollars. Um, but you know, again, you have to get the device uh, enrolled with, with, the, um, with the Google uh, Enterprise license and, and kiosk mode. So, I mean, overall, it's, it's a couple more steps. Um, then we also have here um, the Chrome, Chrome Base and Chromebooks. You can, you can install our app on those, connect them to TVs and run the content, but, um, you know, they're large devices, so they're not as easy to install. Um, the next thing that we're going to get into um, is going to be um, Android digital signage players. And um, this right here is an example of like an Android TV box that uh, you can find on Amazon. Um, I'll show you shortly another model um, that, that can be used. But the benefits of going with an Android box is, is the ease of, of installation. 
So Novi Signs app um, is available for free on the Play Store. Um, you simply get the box, um, Android TV box, connected to the TV, your HDMI, get the internet connected, and then um, search for the uh, Novi Sign app and download it. So it's, it's pretty seamless from an installation standpoint. And, uh, you know, you can get, um, you know, Android TV boxes all the way, you know, from, say, $40 up to, say, 99 bucks, depending on, you know, the type of quality you're looking for. But all in all, definitely, I would suggest going with the Android uh, TV box to use it for your digital signage player. Um, then the next option is going to be Android TVs. And basically, um, you know, in the TV world, the whole phrase, uh, you know, smart TVs, huge buzzword. Um if you're looking to kind of go during, down that route, you're going to want to go with an Android TV. And basically, it uh, features a built-in Android system, and that will let you, right, download the NoviSign app on directly onto the TV. You won't have to purchase an external, say, um, an external uh, media player or anything like that. So if you do take the Android TV route, you know, it, it's super easy from an installation side. You don't have to connect any boxes. You simply just download the Android, uh, the NoviSign Android app right onto it. You're up and running. Um, so that's that's something pretty cool. Um, as far as, um, you know, the, the, the boxes are concerned, um, from an Android TV box standpoint, um, here on Amazon, right, we've got here the MXQ Pro, uh, 2 gig, 16 gig, uh, Android 9.0, and, um, you know, as you can see here, um, you know, it's a nice device, right? And um, it comes with the HDMI cable, supports 4K. Um, the only downside to this is it's a consumer level um, unit, so it's got a 12-month warranty. Uh, notice here how the chassis is plastic. So if it's plastic and it's going to be, you know, if you're using it all the time, all it's going to get warm, could possibly overheat and, and tank out on you within 6 to 12 months. Um, but, you know, it's a very cost-effective unit here, $39.99, uh, plus it's free shipping, so, that, so that's not bad. Um, then another option from an Android box uh, standpoint is going to be Geniatech, um, the APC390, commercial-grade unit, and 4-inch uh, by 4-inch by 1-inch, solid metal enclosure with the vents on the side, um, comes preloaded with the NovaSign app. Um, I mean, overall, these things are very stable, very, 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 very solid. They work, they run, and they run, and they run. Um, this type of thing here is, you know, nice plug-and-play, super stable, and, uh, you know, it delivers very high performance, okay? Um, outside of that, right, on our website here, right, under here, it says the software, okay? And then it says signage player, okay? That's the page I'm on. And basically on this page, this gives you links, right, where you can download the software. So let's say, for example, you purchase a, a Chromebit device, okay, and you want to get the NoviSign um, app installed onto it. Well, on this page, you can click, and it takes you right to the Chrome Web Store. And so basically, on uh, the Chromebit device itself, um, you would just open up the web store and download the NoviSign uh, digital signage player for Chrome and get it installed. Okay. Um, the uh, Windows version, right? So if you have a, a Windows uh, PC or a Windows media player, like the Windows Nook device, right? You can download our, our software for Windows um, right from here and basically just install a file onto it, open it up, and um, you're up and running. So if you're using, you know, a Windows media player, which is basically a, a small form PC, again, download it, the app, our app for free from our website, and you're up and running, okay? Uh, then the third one here is going to be the, um, the, the, the player um, for, for Android, and basically you buy the Android media player, and then on the Play Store, right, you search NoviSign, and um, we'll be here for you to install it. So all in all, uh, from a media player, you know, perspective, right, you can use Chrome, Windows, or Android. We're looking for something that's going to be easy to install and uh, get up and running fast. Android TV box definitely would be the route to take. And if you have any other questions, right, regarding anything, um, you can definitely give us a call anytime. Send us an email, info at novisign.com. And uh, we can definitely walk you through anything, get you 
um, you know, suggested within the right um, you know, operating systems, what questions you have we can answer and help you out. Um, and then if you also have more questions about digital signage players, um, here on the bottom of our website, right, you hit the digital signage hardware tab, digital signage players, and we've got um, some different companies uh, with their information, right? So Minex, Idea, Cubic, Simply Nook, Fantech, Genie Tech, CTL, these are all manufacturers of, of digital signage players that you can browse through um, and learn more. Um, so again, if there's any specific questions on the devices, how it works, how it connects, what should you buy, what shouldn't you buy, um, anything like that, feel free to let us know and uh, we can walk you through anything. Um, also, we do have a free 30-day trial on our website, so in the upper right of nobesign.com, simply hit the sign up. Um, you can sign up for the trial. The trial is of the software itself, um, so you can, you can you know, sign up, put together some content, and then once you get your digital signage player, you can send the content to the player itself. So it's a nice way um, to get, get your um, information running up on a screen um, and not have to pay for the software. With Nobesign, it's free for 30 days. And, um, you know, other than that, we look forward to working with you, and um, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.